Good morning, Bulldogs, and welcome to the Butler Bee. I'm your host, Maddie Koss. The Health and Recreation Complex at Butler University is always a busy place. Sometimes students lead the fitness classes offered there, but sometimes students or members of the community who have memberships at the HRC have personal trainers. How do you become a personal trainer? What does a personal trainer do? Those are some of the questions for our guest today. Junior Sports Media and Strategic Communication major Jordan Galgan is my guest. Thank you for being here, Jordan. Thanks for having me, Maddie. I appreciate it. Now, I didn't know personally that the HRC offered trainers, let alone their students. How does one become a personal trainer? Well, within the HRC, there's an in-house certification program that one has to go through if they are interested in becoming a personal trainer. Uh, it lasts uh, an entire semester, and you basically just go through the ins and out of what it means to be a personal trainer, um, uh, basically the, the anatomy and, and what not to do, what to do, uh, workouts to make, fitness assessments, uh, basically just the ins and out of what the program actually entails. And that usually lasts a semester, you become in-house certified, and then within a year of your in-house certification, you have to become nationally certified. So I'm nationally certified through ACE, the American Council of Exercise. Uh, and then from there, your certification lasts for two years, and you can take on clients until you uh, have to renew that certification. What made you want to become a personal trainer? Uh, it was really just out of hobby. I really enjoyed, um, I really enjoy fitness, and I really enjoy working out. So I figured, why not apply uh, my own sense of love for for the field of fitness and and hope share that with other people. Um, so really, I my background doesn't involve anything within uh, anatomy or, or fitness or anything like that. I'm not going to be going into that post graduation, uh, but it's something I really enjoy and something uh, that's definitely a hobby of mine. How do you prepare for your sessions? I prepare for my sessions by uh, doing a lot of research, so each, each uh, workout is tailored to that specific client. Um, so it's not like I'm just making up some random workouts uh, that are just general and can fit a lot of people. It takes a lot of work because they're all very specific and they all try and meet those specific client goals. Uh, so really what I do is I will make up my workouts uh, at the beginning of the week and we all are required to upload them onto a Google Drive and then from the Google Drive you have to set in you know, the calendar when you're going to work, uh, what sessions you're going to complete uh, and then from there it's just about uh, uh, communicating with your client on when you're going to meet that week. And I know sometimes it's kind of hard to work out. How do you try to motivate your clients? There's a lot of stuff that you have to do outside of the gym. So I'm only with my clients for maybe three hours total of the entire week, and that's obviously not a lot of time to hopefully achieve their fitness goals. So what I try and do is just add little tidbits of you know, advice or information, things that they can do outside of the gym when they're not with me to stay motivated, things just like as simple as staying hydrated or, or just eating healthy, getting enough sleep, because a lot of clients, uh, you know, they're working full-time jobs, they have great careers, but they're not getting enough sleep. Uh, so just little things like that to try and hopefully uh, get them to stay motivated outside of our sessions because like I said, three hours, two hours a week is not enough to achieve some of these ambitious goals that these clients have. You know, being a college student, money can sometimes be an issue. Are the training sessions affordable? Yeah, so uh, I won't get into great detail on the length of um, you know, rates for all members, but I will stay, uh, say specifically for students, uh, rates are $10 per session if you want to work with a student trainer. Um, and then additionally, I would 100% recommend a group rate. So if you and a friend wanted to uh, work out with a personal trainer at the HRC, you could split it. And it's seven fifty a person. Uh, and this way, it's a lot more fun, you're more comfortable because you're with a friend, and it's, it's less expensive. Say a viewer wants to get a personal trainer, how can they sign up to get one? So I would just recommend, uh, first off, doing some research on uh, Butler's HRC website. There's a link for personal training that you can go there and learn a lot more about the, uh, about the program. Uh, but then I would just suggest going to the front desk at the HRC. Uh, they offer uh, a lot of information on what to do and how to do it uh, before anything happens uh, with you know, the actual act of working out. Uh, the, the client or the student needs to go through um, some paperwork to make sure you know, they have their health history form in. And then before uh, a workout even begins, we have to conduct a fitness assessment. And through that fitness assessment, the trainers are able to um, understand where the client needs to go with their goals and what uh, specific programs that the client, uh, that, that the client needs to, to achieve their fitness goals. Now you said that you fit a certain workout with a specific client. 
Can you walk me through, say, a 60-minute session of just your average client? What, what do you do? Yeah, uh, so each, each client's a little bit different, um, but it will start out with a nice, easy warm-up on, on a cardio machine, treadmill, walking around the track um, for about anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. We'll do some dynamic or static stretching, and then from there, uh, it really just depends. Sometimes I might do a HIIT workout, which is a high-intensity interval training workout uh, to maybe get the heart rate up a little bit, or maybe I'll just stick with a strength training workout and we'll work on building up uh, uh, our muscle tone. Uh, really, it just depends. I've had, I've been at this for, uh, I don't know, two plus years now. Um, so I've, I've had a ton of different clients, a range of clients, and that's just because some of them move away, some of them are not interested anymore, or just uh, have other things that come up. Uh, but I've had two clients that have stayed with me the entire time, which has been uh, really cool and really rewarding to see. Uh, but those two clients are different. One's a 51-year-old and one's a 45-year-old. I just picked up a new client who's 72. Um, so there's definitely a lot, of, uh, a lot of challenges that come with that because each client's different. I can't do the same thing with a 25-year-old that I can a 72-year-old. Um, so there's definitely a big learning curve and a big learning gap. Um, so like I said, it, it really just depends on the client. Uh, but then from that bulk of the middle of the workout, after we do um, whatever is tailored to that client, we'll usually cool down with, with a nice, easy five minutes on a cardio bike and then uh, Sometimes if the client's lucky, I'll stretch them out and then they can reap the benefits there and then we'll cool down, foam roll, and then call the day. Do you send them home with a list of workouts that they can work on themselves? Yeah, so usually uh, when we go through what the client is hoping to achieve, I'll create an overall workout or system uh, that, that they know and that they can kind of take home on, on their own. Uh, really, it's, it's what the client wants. Um, so eventually, especially like the two clients that I've had for two years, they know like, what to expect, they know what we've done in the past. Um, so they have access to the Google Drive, okay. so they can actually access all of the workouts that we've ever done, which is an awesome library of workouts to have you know, in your arsenal. Um, but I, I would just say that it really just depends on what the client wants. Um, if they want to take it outside and if they want to do the work outside, because like I said earlier, there's only so much that I can do. Do you encourage students to come and get a personal trainer? Yeah, 100%. I've actually I've had a student uh, in the past as a client, uh, and that's a lot of it's a lot of fun because you can actually push them harder uh, than you can someone that's a little bit older. And and I like it's it's really cool to be able to really grill someone in a workout just because they might be similar to your, your fitness level. Um, but yeah, I would definitely I I I've, I've got texts from a bunch of different people throughout the years. Hey, how do I sign up? What do I do? What can I do to um, actually obtain a trainer? And I think it's, it's an awesome opportunity that students have on campus that not many really, uh, students don't really utilize it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, they know it's there, they see their friends uh, training clients, but they think that's probably for the Butler community, I don't really qualify for that. I would, I would encourage all students to kind of do their own research on HRC's website and, and kind of look into it. And if they're interested, go for it. It's really rewarding. And you stated earlier that if someone doesn't want to work out by themselves, they can work out in a group. Is that a little different than working on one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah, it's a different dynamic. Uh, there's a lot of different things that go into it because you have to create more partner exercises just to keep both people involved at the same time. It's a little bit more work on, on the trainer, but definitely a lot more fun for the clients. Um, I will say that when you're getting into the, to the realm of two people, but then you start getting bigger to three, four, and five, that's when uh, it becomes group fitness. And we have also a fantastic program of group fitness uh, trainers at the HRC uh, that, that I know a lot of people love. And they attend those classes regularly on a daily basis uh, just because they love going back to them and it's a lot of fun. So um, there's definitely those different programs that are offered at the HRC and I, I hope everyone kind of takes advantage of them. What's the most re rewarding part of your job? There are a, there's a lot of rewarding parts of my job. It's, it's a, definitely a unique experience to have as a 20-year-old. Not many 20-year-olds get to say that they're, they're ACE certified. It's, it's, it's a cool experience. Uh, but I would say the most rewarding part of my job is simply seeing the improvements that all of my clients have. Uh, these people actually become your, your close friends. And I can say that the two clients I've had since the beginning, I, uh, I really enjoy just being with them and hanging out with them. Uh, you know, even outside of our of our sessions, my one of my clients and I joked the other day that once Scotty's opens on Sunset, that we're just gonna go, you know, grab a beer or two or something and just hang out um, and just and just enjoy some some good friendship. Um, so really, it's just the relationships that I create within those workouts 
and then just seeing the improvements that they make day in and day out because it's really rewarding to see the work that you're putting that you're, that you're putting in, but then also seeing the incredible hard work and dedication that your clients are, are putting forth be, because of because of your hard work. It's a it's a mutual two way street, and I think that um, uh, it's it's really rewarding just just to see those improvements. Well, thank you, Jordan, for being here today, and thank you, Bulldog fans, for watching today's Butler Beat. I'm Maddie Koss. Have a great day, and go dogs.